Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Virtual Skills and I am Latiful Bari with you. In this video, I'll show you how to install Grammarly in your Windows PC, in your browser and add it to Microsoft Word currently. Well, let's do it. Just open a browser and search for Grammarly. And here is our official site. Just click to open it. Now if you haven't worked with Grammarly yet, just scroll down and check it out how it works. In short, Grammarly will work with emails, messages, documents and projects and also social medias. And they have different installation files for these purposes. Now I would love to show you their product plans at a glance. You may see here they have three different plans, two paid plans and the free one. You may check their features by scrolling down to the end. But if you just use it for your personal need, then I will recommend you the free version. I think this is enough to evaluate and polish your writings. Anyways, let's sign up first. Just click on this login button. As you can see, you will find different options here. I would love to go with the continue with Google option. Well, we got signed in. From here, you can personalize your uses. Or you can just skip it by clicking here. Now click on continue to Grammarly free version. Well, now click on this menu icon. Then click on Grammarly. As I am using Firefox, so it's showing Firefox add-on. But if you are using Chrome, you will find it here. Now click to add it. Continue installation. It will take few moments. In the meantime, I would like to show you other options. Just click on app here. Well, our extension is downloaded. Just add it to your browser. Allow it run this extension in private window. Now click on Active Grammarly. We are done. Well, now let's try to install Grammarly for Microsoft Edge. This is the tricky part of Grammarly installation. Because most of the people face a common problem during this installation. I'll show you the problem and also the solution. Let's install it. Now save the file. You can see it's being downloaded. Now click to install. Click on get started button and install. It may take few moments. Now click to finish it. Now I would like to reload this page. You can see here, Grammarly for Firefox is active, but not the Microsoft Edge. Let's open the Word file to check what is happening. Well, you can see, Grammarly got appeared here, but when you click on it, then it's an error that Grammarly has failed to load. Well, don't worry, I'll show you a very simple solution to fix this error. Before that, let's install the Grammarly for Windows very quickly. Almost the same process. Click on install, save the file. As it is downloaded, click to open it. Run it. And now click on sign in. Continue with email. Now click to open the Grammarly. If you face any problem in sign-in process, then make sure your browser is default. Or you can also sign in manually from here. Well, you can see our Grammarly Windows app is ready. 
Now let's solve the Grammarly Microsoft Word issue. Click on Start menu. Type UAC. Now click on Change User Account Control Settings and change the Notify option to any level. Then click on it. Then click on OK. We are done. Now open the Microsoft Word again. Click on Grammarly. You can see there is no error here. Now click to log in here. Click continue. Then click open link. Success. Now reload the Grammarly app page. You can see it's active now. So thank you so much guys for being with me and don't forget to subscribe my channel and just stay tuned.